Sidestepper is a vulnerability that lets attackers bypass security enhancements in iOS 9. These enhancements were meant to protect users from installing malicious enterprise applications. But an attacker can hijack and imitate trusted MDM commands. So these enhancements can then be sidestepped to install malicious enterprise apps over the air. Apple recognized that malicious enterprise apps had become a problem. So it introduced a new explicit user trust workflow in iOS 9, making enterprise apps sideloading harder to do. The new workflow requires users to take several steps to trust the app. Here's how it works. When a user tries to sideload an enterprise app, iOS prompts with a warning. Until the user changes some settings, the enterprise developer's certificate won't be trusted and the app won't be installed. First, the user has to go to Settings in iOS and tap General. In the General Settings, the user has to scroll to and tap Device Management. Then, after tapping the developer certificate, the user has to tap Trust to explicitly trust the developer certificate. After completing all of these additional steps, iOS will go ahead and install the Enterprise app. So, Apple made it more difficult to sideload malicious Enterprise apps, but it only fixed part of the problem. The normal path of MDM communication with an iOS device is rather straightforward. The MDM sends a wake-up request through the Apple Push Notification Service to the managed device. Then, the device sends a status request over to the MDM to let it know it's ready to receive a command. The MDM then sends the command and the device executes it. But, if an attacker were to get in the middle of that communication using a man-in-the-middle attack, he could hijack that communication. Instead of the normal path, the MDM would send a wake-up request through the push service, and the service would send the request to the device. So how can an attacker launch a man-in-the-middle attack on the device? Well, it's fairly simple. All the attacker needs to do is send a phishing message to the user with a link to a malicious profile. Here, you can see the message is disguised as an important carrier update. But when the device replies, the attacker intercepts the message. Instead of the MDM replying with a legitimate command, the attacker sends one of his own, which iOS trusts because the MDM is already trusted on the device. The user doesn't know any better, so he taps the link, which installs the malicious profile. This profile routes MDM communication to the attacker's command and control center. Installing a profile doesn't add an icon to the home screen, so the user thinks he's updated his settings at the carrier's request. The whole process is simple and transparent to the end user. The configuration profile only needs to be installed once. After that, any MDM communication is forwarded to the attacker's command and control center. Now, an attacker can masquerade as an MDM and can install malicious apps over the air. Here's how it works. On the left side is the attacker's command and control console, and on the right is the user's iPhone. The attacker sends a command to the device to install an app. The device prompts the user that his admin wants him to install an app. Since the notification looks just like others that the user has received from the MDM, he trusts the message is authentic. The user taps install and the app is fetched from the attacker's server and deployed on the device. Since the device trusts MDM commands, enterprise apps can sidestep the new security workflow. Here in this example, the attacker pushed what looked like an update to Safari to the device. But when the user taps the newly installed app, he can see that he's being hacked. For more information about Sidestepper, please visit www.checkpoint.com forward slash Sidestepper.